Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today I want to talk about products that betrayed me. And I mean, ruined my life. <laughs> it's not that deep. So I want to talk about some products that maybe I use slightly wrong. It happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone. Or products that claim to do something and when I use it the way it said, didn't quite work and maybe I feel slightly let down by them. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Just before we get into that, if this is your first time here, hi my name is Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life and it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. Just before we get into all those betrayals, I had to jump in here and thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now you all know I love Skillshare, you've heard me mention them numerous times. There is so many different classes to take on Skillshare. It is unbelievable. I've had the best time educating myself, learning something new, and gaining new skills, new knowledge. It's just a great time. But for those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online community with thousands and thousands of classes packed with incredible information by very skilled and talented teachers. So I have learned recently on there how to use Procreate on my iPad. I've learned how to um, read <laughs> and out loud better. But recently I've been a little bit stuck with my social media, if I'm honest with you, especially on TikTok, right? I've been like, what can I do? I've run out of ideas. My mind seems to have this block like a creative block. So I thought to myself, let me just type into Skillshare, right? Just on the off chance, creativity, and see what comes up. And these classes came up by this wonderful individual, MSA, all on how to achieve your creative potential. And I was like, perfect, perfection. I'm still just about in the middle of this course, but it's just been incredible kind of realizing your unique brand of creativity and also what's kind of blocking that creative mindset. They are such good classes to take. If you do anything creative and you feel a little bit like, okay, I, I'm kind of stuck now, I would highly recommend these classes. So if you're interested in learning a new skill or even learning something new about yourself, I would highly recommend you check out Skillshare. So here's the deal. The first 1,000 people, that's a lot of people, to use the link down below in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And you can start learning something new or discovering something new about yourself today. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Back to me. Okay, let's get Get into it. I have two products that aren't physically here because I think I threw them away. All of it in this bag down here, but I just have four of makeup which I need to put back on my shelves. Um, and I'm lazy, what can I say? <laughs> Let's start with the first product. I do just want to remind you of this first product that I do like this product. So this is Vidanessa Merrick's Yummy Skin um, Powder Balm thing. Love it. Love, love, love it. The, the shades. However, this is the universal one. The reason why this betrayed me is because I've used this before. I've used this balm by itself. I've used it under foundation and I absolutely loved it. Here's what happened though. True story. I used this under a different foundation than what I usually use and it went on beautifully as it does with, with this balm usually, as a foundation does usually, but I've never used it with this before. And one thing I found that throughout the day, my foundation start to do this weird, I wanna say, I wanna say dry, but it wasn't dry. It was almost like, it was gathering in patches in certain areas. So around my beard, I noticed, around here, a little bit on the nose, I'm sorry, on the bridge of the nose here, and around the forehead, there was these patches and it almost looked like dusty. Not like color, but like texture. It looked like you can like brush it off. And I was like, what is, what's the issue here? There's a few different things in this balm that maybe didn't match so well with the foundation I was using that gave it this like dusty effect. It looked like someone could go and like it, my foundation go, you know, it was really, really strange. And I'm an oily person. So for that to happen on my skin, I was a little bit like, what's going on? I was a little bit confused. And then I kind of thought, okay, that's what's happening. So a betrayal, yes, but do, is it my fault? Yes. <laughs> so warning with this one, do be careful what foundation we use it with. We know about bases, we know how certain bases don't mix, all that kind of stuff. However, yes, that's a rule, but I mean, <laughs> you can cheat it sometimes, you can manipulate it. So do just be careful with the foundation you use with this one. And I would suggest maybe retouching a little bit throughout the day so you don't get to that point of dusk dustiness. Okay, my second product has a story time with it. 
The brand Nimia, which is Nikki Tutorial's skincare line, skin prep, foundation prep, makeup prep, I wanna say, which I use and absolutely loved. I thought it was a really good idea for um, someone who's involved in makeup to come out with skin prep, because I think that's super important over makeup. It's what helps your makeup last longer, it's what helps it look the way it does, so it's extremely important. Loved every product in there. That um, the eye stick, amazing. One item, however, I really want to talk about, which worked quite well when I use it throughout the day on a tiny bit of foundation was fine. <laughs> and here's where the betrayal comes in, right? Story time. So me and um, James were extremely lucky and like honored to be invited or even considered to attend the opening of a pop-up store for Lisa Eldridge in Covent Garden with all her amazing products. If you haven't tried the brand, you absolutely need to. And all her like collection of vintage makeup and historical makeup was there and it was so great to look at. We met Lisa Eldridge, had a really good talk with her, I met some more incredible people. Um, had a, a really amazing night and you guys know I don't like to do things. So for it to be a fun, oh my God, you can see a can of Pepsi. Have the best night, incredible. When I got back to my hotel, and I looked in the mirror, all I could think was, you were speaking to Lisa Eldridge and this is how your foundation looked. So with me, it was setting sprays. I love to use them to prep my skin, right? Sorry, to prep my skin because setting, and I, it's how I use every setting spray no issues. I like to block the source off the makeup destruction, which is an oil, setting spray, foundation, setting spray. And everyone does it online. You see everyone talk about it. And it's a technique makeup artists have used for many, many years. This setting spray that I use, a spray underneath. And then I thought, you know what? Let me hydrate and uh, like finish my makeup with a setting spray so my skin looks nice and natural. <sighs> I don't know what happened. I didn't use anything different apart from this setting spray. My, all I can describe it as, have you ever had one of those peel off nail polishes that come with um, like a Halloween like dress up kit and you can literally peel it off? My foundation looked like vinyl. It looked vinyl on my, it looked like you could just go whoop and then rip it off. I don't know how to describe it. And I, for the life of me, I still can't figure it out what happened. But the only new aspect to my foundation was that setting spray to my routine, sorry, was that setting spray. I don't know what went on. Perhaps I used too much, perhaps something. But then I used it before and it was absolutely fine. I don't know what happened in the course of a night. Maybe I accidentally sat under a blue light. I don't know. <laughs> something happened to my foundation that made it look this texture. And I just looked at my face and I was like, this is horrific. It was, maybe I was being too picky, but I was like, I can't, I can't believe this, it happened to my skin while I was at an event for Lisa Eldridge, you know? I just, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna talk about a skincare. <laughs> now, for those of you who know, I'm not the skincare twin. That's James, he does skincare. Um, I know the very basics of how to prep skin for makeup and make sure that your makeup lasts a long time. If you want advice on skincare, don't ask me. If you want advice on treatments, don't ask me. However, Sunday Riley is a brand I really, really like. Like, I love their eye cream. I really like their, their skincare. And it's a, I, and the reason why is because I'm not, like I said, I'm not into skincare. I'm not into ingredients. But it's one of the only brands that when I use them, I see a difference in my skin. However, this product, Good Jeans, which I have just started using again because I did like it. It says that you can use this daily. Fucking don't, do not, you. if your skin is sensitive, actually, I don't know, if your skin is sensitive, it is a glycolic acid treatment, which to me, acid, I don't know why I didn't pair the two together. It's an AHA, I believe, alpha hydroxy acid. It says you can use it daily, just like it did. So I did, my skin hurt, it was sensitive, it was dry, it was the most horrendous experience. I've had with a product, oh, actually that's not true because I bought um, a face wash in America and it made my skin look like I had eczema. Horrific when I use it daily. When I use it like three times a week, good, we're good, we're absolutely fine. Three, four times a week. Daily, absolutely not. Oh my God, my skin. And some people might have built up like an immunity to it and I think that's what you have to do. Not immunity, but um, they're not as sensitive. But, oh my God, it just really, really hurt. But it does, when I feel like brands need to be a little bit more obvious for like us skincare simpletons that don't really know much. <laughs> and say like, listen, use a daily, sure. But if this is your first time, if you're stepping into it, slow it down. And I only know that because I spoke to James. I was like, why is this happening to my skin? Slow it down a little bit. 
take it easy, take it slow. It was an intense, intense situation there for me. And you use skincare to know, you make your skin look better, make yourself feel better. So, so when you're using something that says that you can use it a certain way and it doesn't quite work out, you're like, shit, that's not great, is it? Now I have to fix this again. Okay, so here is another cautionary tale of, um, mixing things together, right? I absolutely adore this brand. Um, and this isn't the brand, this is my story time about it. An eye serum from Aug Augustinus Bada, an absolutely like really, really expensive skincare brand, but I was very kind of gifted like loads of it from Space NK. And um, I absolutely loved it. Some of the only skincare products I finished the whole way through, beautiful. And I was using this eye cream and I believed, oh sorry, serum. And I believed it had vitamin C in, right? So I went to go and use this eyebrow pen. This was from Misguided Beauty. Really good pen, sat really well on top of like brow product, brow gel, brow wax. Beautiful, really, really nice. And where was I? Oh, okay, so it was when it was a little bit hot and I was sitting outside, lucky I had sunglasses covering my eyebrows. My eyebrows turned red, pure red. I wish I had taken a picture. Now, this isn't the first time this happened to me. I thought it was because just of the quality of the pen, but I do like the products from Misguided. I think, they, are they shutting down? Something happened, right? I don't know, something dodgy. Anyway, it, it looked really, it looked really good. Went on smoothly. It was a really nice tip to it. And I just remember going to a bathroom and looking in the mirror and I was like, everywhere I've put this brow pencil, is, is, it's red, it's lit up red. So it was all like in this gap up. I haven't got any brow pencil and I just put like a uh, wax in. It was all up here, it was all red down here. And I was like, this looks fucking stupid. So I had to wipe it off. I took to Twitter and I was like, has this happened with anyone? So Dr. Michelle Wong or Lab Muffin Beauty Science on uh, YouTube. So <laughs> she said to me, under it, she was like, are you using anything with vitamin C in? And I was like, well, uh, she knows what she's talking about all the time. So I immediately checked the ingredients and one of the main ingredients in the serum I was using, and I take it all around for brows, everything was vitamin C. And I was like, yes. Then she put a picture up of her eyebrows doing the same thing. And it was a reaction between vitamin C and some ingredients in products like this. It was so interesting. Sometimes you forget makeup and skincare is like this incredible science. I was like, oh, that is such, that is such a good thing to know because maybe it's a step in my skincare that I can replace or skip quite easily and um, with products I own when I'm using this brow product. But the betrayal in this was those red eyebrows <laughs> out in public. Just, hi, here's my eyebrows. Embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing, but easily fixed. Okay, well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me know if you've used any product that has kind of like really let you down, but then it also just turns out you're using it wrong. <laughs> Let me know below. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, that's it, I think. Do, uh, that's, yeah, no, that's all I need to say. Thank you so much again, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.